Hey friends, it's Jenny with 31, and today I want to highlight all of our amazing travel options. So I've been with 31 um, going on nine years now, which is ridiculously crazy, and I honestly cannot remember the last time or how we traveled before 31 came into our lives. Um, I have a family of four, I have a five-year-old and a soon-to-be four-year-old, um, and we can easily take 30 to 40 bags um, for just a weekend getaway at overnight at Grandma and Grandpa's. Um, by the time you count, you know, a thermal for the snacks in the car and all the zipper pouches for the crayons and the coloring books and the phone chargers and just all that stuff, um, they just really add up. So I love that A, most of my stuff is just lying around the house and I can grab it as I need. But they just, there's so many um, possibilities. Like the Glamour case, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, is, you know, the Glamour case is kind of advertised for makeup and stuff like that. But there's so many options. So I'm going to actually start with our larger bags first. Um, and this is one of my um, first purchases. Now this print, some of my prints are older and retired. Just keep that in mind. This bag is available, but the print is not. So we've been married. I always stop and think about this. My husband laughs at me. Um, we just celebrated seven years in November. Um, we got married in November and took our honeymoon in June because I was teaching at the time. So we waited for school to be out. And we actually went um, to Europe and we took the train from Paris to Germany. And this was one of our bags that we used um, as our carry-on because we could easily fit overnight stuff in it, <clears throat> excuse me, for the flight. Um, we, you know, we kept a spare set of clothes, um, just the essentials in case we had issues with luggage. So this one's been on the plane um, around the world, literally. It's eight years old and it looks amazing. Um, you can see like the seams and stuff. There's literally like no issues. I mean, there's a little bit of like wear and tear, but for eight years old, amazing. This is our all-packed duffel. Um, like I said, this particular color is no longer available, but it is available in some really beautiful um, prints as well as some um, plain like the charcoal for the guys, which is what my husband has. This is approved for, um, now obviously if it's like full full, it might be difficult to get on the plane, but as long as you don't have this thing packed full, you can carry this on, which we've done before. Um, it's got the really nice shoulder straps that you can strap together to make it nice and easy, or it's got the removable um, crossbody strap which that way if your hands are full, um, you can still, you know, make your mad dash to the airport or just the weekend or whatever. Um, the great thing about this one too is it's great for gym, sports, because it is so large. I know people that can fit like hockey skates inside. Um, if you want to go to the gym in the morning and throw, you know, your spare set of clothes for the day, your, um, you know, your real life stuff, your real shoes, your makeup, all that stuff is plenty big for that. My favorite feature about this bag though is this shoe caddy. So this is on the outside of the bag. And so you unzip it and then it actually goes inside. So you can see how that works. So your shoes are inside the bag, but they're not really inside the bag. So if you've got, you know, if they are sweaty gym shoes, kind of keeping your um, clothes and things a little bit more protected. I can usually pack a pair of my eight, size eight, like tennis shoes or dress shoes, as well as a pair of flip flops, um, especially if we're going to a hotel or something like that, I like to have those on hand. And then I actually grabbed my husband's size 12 harder to do and I'm standing here you can see that they fit you know to, all the way to the end but there's still plenty of room here um, to zip those and he could even throw a pair of flip-flops and I think I've even had my pair of tennis shoes on top of that so um, nice and roomy for those and then on the inside you do have a couple other um, they're just open oops, I'm on the wrong side open mesh pockets back here which is usually where I like to stick shove my undies socks things like that they're easy to grab or you can throw your bathing suit or something like that so this is one of our larger ones the all packed duffel the other one that I love that I switched to personally is our way for the weekender um, this was one that we actually took this last fall we went to Maui and we took like the big old luggage the suitcase that we checked on the plane but this one we stuck inside the suitcase nice and flat doesn't take up hardly any room and it's very nice it's a heavier canvas but the bag itself is not heavy so there's no bulkiness to it. It packs up nice and light. Um, but then on the way home, this baby was full. It was our second carry-on. So we had, gosh, like six or seven t-shirts that we bought for ourselves and for souvenirs for the family. Um, just other little things in here. Just tons of that kind of stuff. It was probably about three-fourths of the way full. Um, looks can be deceiving, but you can actually fit a lot in here. And I'm going to show you just really quick. All right, sorry about that. So I'm gonna stick my husband's size 12 tennis shoes in here. Like 
Da -da -dum. And then I've got two pairs of jeans. Now I'm not really packing, so keep that in mind. I'm just kind of shoving. This is like an extra large, heavy duty, um, boiler up anybody, sweatshirt. And then I've got another size large, like hoodie, sweatshirt. So granted, I'm packing big, heavy, bulky items. Shove that baby in there. I can grab a hair dryer and shove him in there. And then on top, I'm gonna put the glamour case, which I'm gonna highlight here soon. And I still have room, so keep in mind, you know, it's not full by any means. Um, you know, I didn't put socks and undies and all that stuff just kind of fits in. I put pajamas, but you can easily see how much you can really get in here. Um, we recently moved, and before we moved, we did a lot of traveling back and forth um, to grandma and grandpa. I was looking at houses and just getting stuff like that around, and this was a nice one that I could take myself with my two kids. Granted, they're little, so their clothes are littler, but I could easily fit um, clothes for the weekend for the three of us in here, including makeup, shoes, all that kind of stuff, and had extra room. This one also does come with a shoulder strap. I put mine away because these are so long that I really just like to kind of throw it over my bag, my shoulder. The other nice feature about this is it's got this front pocket that goes all the way down. And then that actually does fit like a laptop, magazines, your phone chargers, things like that, that you don't want to lose. So this is the Away for the Weekender. Another great option um, for carry-on. It is approved for carry-on size. Just a weekend away, get away with the girls, overnighters, um, send the kids off to grandma and grandpa's for a week probably, you could fit them in there. So just so many options on that one. A couple other ones I wanna highlight. I kind of forget about this guy. Um, very popular. Actually, when I was on my last 31 trip, a lot of the girls used this as their carry-on because they wanted to be hands-free. But this is our adventure backpack. Um, Lots of options with this one as well. You can see it's a little bit different than your typical backpack because when you open it, it's got like a wire rim through here. So it's going to open more square than your average backpack that you're going to grab, you know, at the box store. Um, but then the fun part is here in the front, it's got a thermal pocket. So I like to personally take this one. Um, the kids and I, when we go to like the zoo, park, children's museum, someplace like that, because I can stick lunch for the three of us in here. I can do um, like a usually a big turvis for me and then two smaller cups for the kids inside that thermal pocket. But you notice it's on the back. So it's not against my bag. I'm not carrying around um, sandwiches, chips, you know, drinks, things that are touching my skin. It's on the back or the outside, I guess, of the backpack. I'm trying to see if you can get a good visual of that. I am not a backpack person and this is a super comfy bag. Um, I'm 5'4". My husband is 6'2", so there's quite a difference between the two of us, and he can wear this one um, comfortably as well, which is really nice because when we are sharing kid duty, we got the diapers, all the snacks, and anything like that in here, um, we can just pass it back and forth. So on top of that thermal pocket, you've got two nice pockets here. You've got the pocket here, which is usually where I keep like the car keys, um, if I want to keep my wallet and stuff, and then you've got more pockets around. I don't know if you can see all those. So this one actually does fit um, quite a few clothes as well. So like I said, a lot of girls on our recent um, 31 trip, they would just have like a little roller carry-on and then this is their um, carry-on bag. And it's just a great one again for the gym, um, for kids, just for moms on the go, parents on the go, um, guys and gals. So that's the adventure backpack. And if you like the backpack option, something a little bit smaller, this is our sling back bag. Say that three times fast. Kind of the same um, idea, but at, you know, much smaller scale. Oop, I'm all twisted. Personally, this is not a favorite of mine, just because I like the two shoulder versus the one. But again, my husband will take this one if he needs to, um, especially when the kids were littler and we needed to have the diapers, the wipes, the extra set of clothes, all that kind of stuff. It was just nice because you shove all that in here and kind of forget about it. So the nice thing about it, let me put it back on. I like it because if I am carrying this, I can easily sling it around and then I can open it, um, get inside everything I need. And then I got, again, a place for water bottles or sippy cups for everybody, pocket, pocket. Um, and then if you're lefty or righty, I'm a right-hander, so I like to work that way. You can actually um, take this off and flip it. There it is. So you can flip it and then wear it slinged the other way, um, which is uncomfortable for me, but I know some of you love that. So 
just another backpack option to make it easier for um, just if you're going out. That's a great one too if you want to go for a hike or bike ride, even on the boat, something just big enough to fit this, the essentials, but not so big that it's bulky or weighing you down. All right, so let's talk accessories. Let me grab that glamour case I was talking about. So this is one of my most used 31 pieces. I think it's already packed for my next trip. I like to just keep all of my travel stuff inside ready to go. So it does have um, a clear wipeable liner. I zipped up my, there we go. Um, does have the clear wipeable liner, so you can see that. It's got a full pocket here. So this is usually where I just throw all my makeup. I can fit all my brushes, um, foundation, all that kind of stuff in here. I typically don't use this, but you can stick your brushes through here, and they've got a flap as well. And then on the inside. So I usually take this um, mostly just my makeup. And then I can throw in, like, my glasses in here, um, my hairbrush, um, just things like that. And then, like I mentioned earlier, we were actually moved this summer, and we lived with my mom and dad for about two months. This was my mobile office. So I took everything with me that I absolutely needed to run my business. So I had um, pens, pencil, sharpies, sticky notes, stamps, um, just the essentials that you would need, like a pair of scissors. I think it had some tape and a glue stick for the kids. So all those little things. And then this was really easy that I could move, um, you know, to my car table, the kitchen table, whatever I needed just to kind of get stuff done. And like I mentioned earlier in the post, um, this is also a great one. You can put Matchbox cars in it, um, Barbie accessories, doll accessories, all that kind of stuff because it's a nice little size and it's easy for the kids. So whatever fits inside is what they get to take type of thing. So this is the Glamour case. And then kind of step up from that is the Hanging Traveler case. Again, this is a very old pattern. I don't use this one a lot. I know some people love it. Uh, my father-in-law, this is his favorite shaving kit because um, of this feature right here. So they do a lot of traveling and then when he gets to where he's going, he can easily hang that up in the bathroom or the shower rod or whatever. And he's got all of his stuff right there. So it does fit and I grab some things. So I've got a full size bottle of shampoo, um, contact solution, um, like your hairbrush. So it will fit those larger items. So if you are traveling with a family, you can just grab the things that are already in your bathroom and you're ready to go for everyone. And then it's got that full zip around. So let me dump this stuff out really quick. Kind of hidden right here in the front is another, oops, I just zipped it, is another pocket. So you can stick, you know, hair ties, band-aids, Q-tips, all those little things you don't want to lose. Um, it's got mesh pockets back here to keep things from falling over. And then it also has um, the pocket up top. So a lot of people will do like makeup in here and then all your accessories, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, shampoos and stuff in the bottom. And then I'll show you how this works. So it's nice that you can zip it full zip. And then if there is a spill, you've got that wipeable liner on the inside. Um, easy to clean, always zip so you shouldn't have any leaks. Um, and then it is very flexible. So looks can be deceiving again. This one can fit a lot. And then one other one, two other ones actually. Um, this is our 24 seven case. So this makes a great one. Um, I always call it the guys like ditty bag type thing. So again, it's just one great big pocket. There is um, a couple of little mesh pockets here. You can see that you can personalize all the ones I just showed you can be personalized except for that glamour case. And then you've got a pocket here on the back as well. So this is a great one, not only for um, cosmetics, traveling, that type of thing, toiletries, but again, for a mobile office, um, to keep all of your chargers, camera, batteries, all that kind of stuff together. Just a really nice size. Uh, my mom is a hairdresser by trade many, many years ago. She cuts everyone's hair in the basement of their house. So this is her um, bag for that. You know, if you have an extension collection of makeup, you can stick all your stuff in here. So it's just a really nice, again, size for that. And then the other bag that we rarely travel without, again, this is a very old pattern, is our zipper pouch. It comes in two sizes. You've got the regular zipper pouch, and then this is the mini. Um, just, oops, just so you can see the size. This is a great one that I actually keep in my purse. And then I keep all those extras, um, like the chapstick, gum, hand sanitizer, usually band-aid, hair ties, all that kind of stuff fits in here. And then when we travel, um, I usually keep this one with the phone chargers, things I want to keep um, separate, and I can just shove this inside of our bag. This is also a great one. My kids each have one. Um, and we can fit a coloring book, crayons, just like some small library books, that type of thing. So when we're going places, I know we're going to be going out to dinner and having to wait. I know we're going to the doctor and having to wait. So this is kind of their busy bag. 
and it fits everything perfectly inside. So those are just some of my favorites. Um, like I said, I don't know how we've ever traveled with 30, without 31. It's just so handy, um, so many options. So if you guys have questions about things you saw, definitely um, send me a message or you can click the link and check them out.